Warning Army. The One. Live. Let's go. Hey there. Good to see you. Good to be here. We've got the one live at Lunario in 2018, so let's go take a look right now. I'll do anything to make it happen. Tell me your secrets. What are you hiding? Remember me. Even if my intent is misguided Don't want to be Never mind me Can you explain to me what's this feeling? Love it or hate it, it's never leaving Want to believe That you feel it too There is no reason to even doubt it Please understand
of colour on the outside But I only see in black and white I'm desperate for some light In the corners of my mind Having hope but not enough Reaching out to find no one Am I the only soul to have lost all control? It gets hard to breathe Stuck in between On what has become my big reaction And there's no escape from the voice in my So <laughs> I couldn't stop. <laughs> Sorry about that. I wanted to see their transition uh, from one thing to another. And I gathered one of them changed instruments. Um, must have been the bass. Although I could be wrong. She may have similar looking guitars. 2018, you can already see that the first thing they paid attention to was making their sound big. I know I keep harping on that, sorry. But it's so important in a power trio. I mean, I'll tell you, I played this club one time. <laughs> when we were first getting started, we played this nightclub. <clears throat> it was a big club, and it was a big-named nightclub. And I'm not going to tell you the name because of what happened, but... Um, and uh, the band that went before us was the mainline band, and we were like the one in the morning to four in the morning band. And we came out of a studio uh, setting where we had been working on our sets, and we got that gig through there, through the studio. And when we got there, we were told, don't worry about bringing your PA or anything. This band is going to let you use theirs. And we got there, and they didn't. <laughs> so we're coming off the stage. 
with the house speakers and nothing but our amps on the stage. And it was the emptiest sound I'd ever heard in my life. It was a humiliating experience. <clears throat> I never wanted to do that again. So I never took anybody's word for the sound system. I brought my own. Uh, <clears throat> okay, enough of that. On the first song, I was intrigued by the way they wrote that one the, the constantly changing root note i mean the it wasn't the root that changed but their interesting choice of of chord changes um these half steps in the in the uh <laughs> it's hard to explain but it's a little dissonant but at the same time um it really worked that's it shows some um, evolution in songwriting it shows some maturity uh, because it was kind of a gutsy call and you can do that and it can you know horribly crash on you but it didn't on them that's a cool song the one is a very cool song very well done and I noticed that um, you can see Danny's stage presence is darn near mature at that point i didn't see anything that looked a whole lot different from her vma performance and so i felt uh, felt like uh there was not a lot of time shift there also um in other words i couldn't see really any difference to the time made in her approach um then also uh, the bass line in that first song really filled that song that's what gave it its Ale was just driving that whole song. That whole song was driven by bass. Um, and uh, Pal was keeping this very interesting groove. And if you're, if you're a percussionist out there, you can tell me maybe there's a name for that particular groove uh, because I don't know what it is, but I've heard it before. And it's very, uh, um, you know, it's got a real... Uh, I, I don't want to say jungle feel, but it's sort of, you know, it's tribal in its feel, but not too heavy. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like you hear in Tusk by Fleetwood Mac where they're really thundering out that that uh, that tribal beat. So I, I'm lacking the right word for that even. But not being a drummer, cut me some slack. Uh, I liked this song, too, uh, a lot. Uh, and something that Wings of Pegasus said that, and I may have said this on the channel before, but he's right, and he's always right, because he's way smarter than me about this stuff. The raw energy of this band is one of its biggest appeal. Uh, you could, I mean, you could hear, you know, things like what change, when they change that bass, I knew it because you... You know, they unplug the bass and then plug it back in with the amp on, right? So, and as you go on, you learn that, hey, if you're going to change instruments, you make, you know, you turn down the amp or you have a pedal that allows you to, you know, cut that amp off. Uh, and I and I know they do that now because I watched her change something in something we watched earlier and you didn't hear a sound. But again... Sometimes it depends on what you're doing, where you're at. You know, if you're in this raw environment and maybe something went wrong with the instrument and this was a real quick change so they could move on quickly. So it always depends on the situation. But I, I'm just pointing out things I noticed and none of them are flaws. In fact, they're the best way to cover anything that might be happening that shouldn't be happening on stage. And I promise you, probably there were 15 other things going wrong on that stage for them that you never saw and never will know that it happened uh, because there's always something that's out of whack there's something in the way wherever you have to walk and stand and or there's uh, a, you know there's a monitor not working right uh, so it's you know it's you can barely hear it so you can't hear yourself sing things like that so that was great and i think what i'm going to do from this point forward is do two songs of this album at a time because their songs are relatively short and um, I think we have the time to do it, don't you? So that was both The One and Stalker and I will put that up on the title card. So I'm so glad you're here. I'm, it's been a heck of a day. Sorry to get this out a little bit late, uh, but here it is 
and I love you guys. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. Then you'll know when I drop the next video. And if there's a thanks button down there, sometimes there isn't, and you are of a mind and you liked what you saw, hit that too, please. Um, you all have been very generous to this point, and I, I just love doing this. So that's the important thing, right? Getting this music out. And the warning deserves all of our support in every way. This power trio is the epitome of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and taking something that happened to them as young ladies going viral on the internet and suddenly being swept into this environment and they have kept their heads together and they've kept their equipment, their act together, uh, both on stage and off. Very impressive. Um, far more impressive than anything I've done. And, and so uh, it's wonder to watch them and we'll watch two more the next time, okay? So it's been great seeing you. Thanks for dropping by. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.